Um, my thought says they've been up here, um, come from a scripture, and it's be still and know that I am God, and, and I haven't been able to feel that. But coming up here, I've been so grateful just to feel the peace and peace. the quiet that's up in these mountains, and I'm grateful for that because the Spirit is real. And it came to pass that after King Benjamin had made an end of teaching his sons, that he waxed old, and he saw that he must very soon go the way of all the earth. Therefore he had Mosiah brought before him. And these are the words that he spake unto him. My son, I would that you should make a proclamation throughout all this land among all this people that thereby they might be gathered together. For on the morrow I shall proclaim unto this my people, out of my own mouth, that thou art king and a ruler of this people, whom the Lord our God hath given us. And moreover, I shall give this people a name, thereby they may be distinguished above all the people which the Lord God hath brought out of the land of Jerusalem. And this I do because they have been a diligent people in keeping the commandments of the Lord. And it came to pass that after King Benjamin had made an end of these sayings to his son, that he gave him charge concerning all the affairs of the kingdom, and moreover he gave him charge of the records which were engraven on the plates of brass, and also the plates of Nephi, and also the sword of Laban, and the ball, or director, which led our fathers through the wilderness. And now it came to pass that Mosiah went and did as his father had commanded him. Brothers and sisters, your attention please. I, Mosiah, make an official proclamation to all this people throughout all this land according to the will of my father, King Benjamin. He wishes to address you on important matters pertaining to your salvation and he requests your presence in total. Please listen carefully to your leaders as they guide you in the building of a tower sufficient for the purposes of instruction. I would exhort you to work in brotherhood with enthusiasm, might, and zeal. Now it came to pass that when King Benjamin had thus spoken to his people, he sent among them, desiring to know of his people 
if they believed the words which he had spoken to them. And they all cried with a loud voice, saying, Yea, we believe all the words that have been spoken unto us, and we know of their surety and truth, because of the Spirit of the Lord Omnipotent, which has wrought a mighty change in us, or in our hearts, that we have no more disposition to do evil, but to do good continually. And we do rejoice with exceedingly great joy. And we are willing to enter into a covenant with our God to do His will, and to be obedient to His commandments in all things that He shall command us, all the remainder of our days. <coughs> Ye have spoken the words that I desired, and the covenant ye have made is a righteous covenant. And now because of the covenant which ye have made, ye shall be called the children of Christ, his sons and his daughters. For behold, this day he hath spiritually begotten you, for ye say your hearts are changed through faith in his name. Therefore ye are born of him, and have become his sons and daughters. And under this head ye are made free, and there is no other head whereby ye can be made free. There is no other name given whereby salvation cometh. Therefore I would that ye should take upon you the name of Christ. And now King Benjamin thought it was expedient, after having finished speaking to the people, that he should take the names of all those who had entered into a covenant with God. And there was not one soul except little children, but who had entered into the covenant and had taken upon them the name of Christ. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for your faith and attendance, and thank you for adding your name to the promise this day.